It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Slow Lane Brewing Company in Australia, sent by the fabulous Mick. Thank you very much, Mick, for this beer. And this is a beer called Family Ties Hazy IPA. It's 6.5% ABV. It's been brewed with Simcoe and Mosaic and Vermont. No, let me start again. Verdant IPA yeast. That's just bonkers. I read Vermont then for a second and I was thinking, no, that doesn't say Vermont. That says Verdant. From the UK. Wow. I, I still remember the first time I drank my very first Verdant beer. It came in a, it was like a, like a beer 52 type box that was sent to me by beer 52. And it was, I can't remember the name of the beer now, it was just a pale ale. It was a pale ale, but I remember it being fantastic. I remember it being really, really blooming good. And some breweries, they just, and, yeah, let's get this out into a glass and see what we get. Uh, certified independent craft brewers are Slow Lane Brewing in Australia. Thank you, Mick, for this one. Cheers, mate. We'll talk about that. Let's concentrate on the beer for a, for a moment. My goodness me, look at this. Look at this. Uh, we got a two finger white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. You can see that haze. You can see that wonderful, wonderful haze in that glass. There's, well, no, I've just moved my hand and no, there's no, there's no bits in the bottom of the glass here. It's unfiltered, but there's no kind of like yeast sediment in the bottom of this glass. Looks tremendous though. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, and that aroma, wow, 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 wow. 6.5% uh, ABV. Just, I'm gonna say it, I can't help myself. Totally tropical. <laughs> A little bit of spicy pepperiness coming through. Grapefruit, tin pineapple. Passion fruit, mango. A little bit of kind of like the dryness you get from a pear when you bite into a juicy pear with thick skin on it. It leaves you with a kind of like a dry feeling when you bite into it. It's somehow got that aroma, but it smells fantastic, it really does. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Wow. Oh, this one, it's like um, Prosecco. It's got that kind of highly carbonated Prosecco feel to it. It's like, it's like sticking a fire extinguisher in your mouth, you know, or, or one of those kind of maybe those soda stream, you know, like, like a highly carbonated, like a highly 
carbonated bottle of lemonade or Prosecco, champagne, that sort of thing. It's a real rush. It's, it's like a big explosion of carbonation on the inside of the mouth. And, and what that means is that the beard is being spread around the inside of the mouth. You're having that wonderful tropical flavour of passion fruit and mango and grapefruit and orange peel, fleshy blood orange flavours. That kind of dry peel that I was talking about. It's quite a dry beer. And again, again, it's funny, isn't it? You get that from Prosecco. You get that from Champagne. Highly carbonated, but very dry at the same time. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's nice. I mean, 6.5% ABV is definitely kind of like garden beer, isn't it? I almost want to go and get the fire lighters and go and light the barbecue just after a few sips. It's just terrific. Mmm. This is the most tin pineapple beer that I've ever tasted. It really is kind of like just tin pineapple. But look at the beer as I roll it around in the glass. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. But I, I want to go back to that early subject of... Um, I'm just going to be... I, I'm always honest. I'm always... I always like a discussion. I always like to chat about things like this. Um, I'm going to call it Stardust Breweries. Some breweries, they open, they produce their first couple of beers. They're very good. Admittedly, they're very, very good. But it's almost like the breweries had a little bit of Stardust sprinkled over it. Um, they're destined for great things uh, even before they kind of like started, you know. Um we had it back in 2012 when Tiny Rebel first opened. Um, they made a lot of marketing, Twitter, Facebook, lots of noise. We're opening a brewery in Newport, South Wales. And fair play to them, initially, they were doing some great things. They were like, the whole of South Wales wanted kegs of Tiny Rebel beer in their pubs. And it was like that sprinkling of stardust. It was like they were, it was meant to happen. Uh, the same has happened with cloud water and and it happened with with magic rock and and beaver town until they got bought out by heineken um and and of course since then overtone brewing company um you, you and and Daya with their steady rolling man that was another kind of really kind of i think i think um untapped plays a big role in all of this i think untapped if people are rating their beers really highly, of course they've earned it. I'm not. I'm not taking anything away from these breweries. They've earned it. They've earned those four or five star ratings on Untapped. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, you you got your Verdants doing this, thing, and then all of a sudden you got Australian breweries using Verdant yeast, and and like it's 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 a snowball effect, isn't it? Of of of, of popularity, um, of you know, back when I was first out of this channel, it was Russian River with Pliny the Elder. If you could get a Pliny the Elder or Pliny the Younger, you know, it was like Stardust type stuff, wasn't it? Uh, so what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that there, there are other breweries who don't have that Stardust effect. They produce equally incredible beer. But they find themselves banging their head against the wall because as much as they try, as much as they try. I, I was down at St Ives in February and I brewed a double IPA with St Ives and it was really good. It was a really good double IPA. And, and you know, what we were trying to do, we were trying to kind of like put St Ives on the map a little bit. And, and it's funny, isn't it? Like I say, some some breweries have this stardust effect. Some breweries kind of like a little sprinkling of stardust. They're meant to, it's meant to be. It's meant to happen. And then there's some breweries who try as they might. The more they kind of like sweat blood, sweat and tears, and you know, putting everything into their brewery, it it's as though that 
you know, they're finding it tough to hit that, not, not hit that level, but they just need that little sprinkling of stardust. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, but rating for this beer, I suppose, I suppose Slow Lane Brewing Company, I suppose they, they, they might be one of those breweries that, that, themselves that, I mean, look at it. They're producing terrific, terrific beer. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. It really is. Um, hopefully they're making whale, they're making waves in New South Wales. Um, but, you know, there's Australians using verdant yeast from the UK, but I, I mean, I suppose on the other hand, we use a lot of Australian hops. So there is a, there is a trade-off, I suppose, but, um, yeah, maybe slowly in brewing company can have a little bit of that stardust and, become one of those kind of Russian river breweries where everybody wants to try their beer. That's the that's the magic bullet, isn't it, yeah? The silver bullet. But it's terrific. It really is terrific. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. I like that enough to give it a stone the crows, 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.